You actually have that power. Despite whatever you're experiencing right now, which is trying to tell you that you don't, that the power is out there, that it's in the person who employs you or in the doctor's hands or whoever's hands it is, that's not actually true. What's up, Drive? Preston Smiles here. Blessings and blessings from the beautiful Venice Beach, California. Today's transmission, seven tips to remember when you are experiencing tough times. Now, tip number one to remember is that it's gonna be okay. I know that in this moment, perhaps, you are going through something really tough. Maybe someone's sick. Maybe you're sick. Maybe you are afraid that you won't be able to pay your bills next month. Maybe your parents are going through a divorce. Maybe you are having troubles at your job. Who knows, whatever it is, what I want you to know from the bottom of my heart, from the depths of my soul, is that it's going to be okay. Now, how do I know this? Because it always is. You see, the ego mind tries to trick us. And the ego mind is a beautiful thing, but it tries to trick us. It tries to trick us because it wants us to stay safe. And so what it does is, is that it plays out these worst case scenarios. Have you ever had that moment where you realize that you are literally rehearsing something that has never or has not happened yet, but you're making up a whole entire narrative and story about it? Well, that's the ego's way of trying to protect you. It's trying to prepare you for what may come. And I'm here to remind you that nine out of 10 times, what you are rehearsing never happens. So just <sighs> breathe into that and know that it's going to be okay. Now, reminder number two is that you can either have this make you or you can have this break you, but that it still always comes down to a choice. What do I choose right now? What do I choose in this now moment? Is this going to be a stepping stone or is this going to be a tombstone? Both are up to you. You actually have that power. Despite whatever you're experiencing right now, which is trying to tell you that you don't, that the power is out there, that it's in the person who employs you or in the doctor's hands or whoever's hands it is, that's not actually true. Maybe some pieces of that are a lowercase t, but the capital T truth is, is that no matter what happens, as long as there is life in your body, as long as you are here, you have a choice. Now, piggybacking on that, tip number three to remember is to ask yourself a powerful question. One of the most powerful questions you can ask yourself is what is this here to teach me? What is this scenario, this situation trying to teach me? What is it trying to show me? What is it trying to move me towards? Because a lot of times these things that we call painful, these things that we call terrible, oh, I'm going through a terrible breakup, are really blessings in disguise. They are really a set up, right? They appear to be a set back and sometimes they are. But how many of you have ever taken four steps back to end up taking a hundred steps forward? This is literally the story of my life. At 30 years old, I moved back into my mother's home. And today I sit here as someone who is blessed with abundance, financial abundance. Now that didn't just happen out of nowhere. I took a few steps back to take 150 forward. And so as I remind you again, you can ask yourself a powerful question, which is what is this trying to teach me? Because in every single beautiful moment, there is an, a blessing and an opportunity, but you have to cleanse the windows of perception. Right? Our outlook determines our outcome. And so if you can ask yourself a powerful question, you position yourself to receive a powerful answer, right? Because it becomes about receptivity. It becomes about how can I be receptive? How can I be get out of my own way and stop allowing and listening to the ego mind and start listening to the higher self, that part of myself that has never been hurt, harmed, or endangered. That part of myself that knows that I am we are pure love. Oh, oh, bloop. That one, let it land. I am, we are pure love. That's what you are. That's what I am. That's what we're swimming in. We have become control freaks. We want to control absolutely everything. And the control, the idea, the illusion of control has created uh, a separation from the truth of our being. And that separation, when held on to, becomes suffering. But we'll get to that in a minute. Tip number four to remember when going through tough times, and this is literally one that changed the game for me, 
is that you can enjoy the pain. Now I'm gonna say that again. Blah! Rastafari, let's get it. You can enjoy the pain. You see, in our society, we have been bamboozled into thinking that pain equals suffering, and that's not actually true. One of the things that I have come to understand about this beautiful thing we call life is that in the midst of the breakdown, it usually, almost always, holds a breakthrough. And the breakthrough is so glorious and so beautiful. And so a lot of us want to just skip to the breakthrough without experiencing the breakdown. And when we're in the breakdown, we are in so much resistance that we're scratching and clawing, trying to get out of it. And just like if you were caught in quicksand, the only way to get out of quicksand is to relax and lay back. And so, in the midst of whatever you're being with, I'm reminding you that you can actually enjoy it. There is a piece to this whole thing that you can lean into and, and really bathe in and own it and play with it. Why? Because it's not here to stay. Why? Because you are the sky and the pain, the momentary pain is the clouds, is the rain. And so you can either resist that and try to hurry up and get out of it, or you can grab an umbrella and dance in it. And I do the latter. And I'm not saying that I'm living the greatest life on the planet, but I do experience a lot of joy. And it's because I enjoy the parts that are deeply uncomfortable as well. Tip number five to remember when going through a tough time is that pain comes with every single one of us, but suffering is optional. And suffering comes from us thinking that things should be different than they are. And catch that key word in there, should. We play the shoulds and we should all over ourselves. My parents should be different. Our government should be different. My wife, my girlfriend, my boyfriend should be doing fill in the blank. I should be. And that's one of the biggest ones. We, we should all over ourselves. I should be further along. I'm 30 years old. I should have this, right? And, and we, we put all these, this pressure and it builds up and it drags us down. And so I'm here to remind you that the suffering is actually optional. It's not something you have to experience. Pain is momentary. It comes and it goes, right? That slap, the pain is over. How I receive that, how I talk about it after, creates suffering. Now how I talk about it after creates suffering. Catch it. It's over. It's over until I bring it back into the now, into the now, into the now. Oh, I just got slapped. I just got slapped. Oh, I just got slapped. I just got slapped. Now I'm experiencing suffering, but the pain is in the past. Pain already happened. Tip number six to remember when going through a tough time is that you are not alone. I know that some of us can get in these states where we feel like nobody understands and I'm here to tell you that a lot of people do. Nobody necessarily understands exactly how or what you're experiencing in this particular now moment, but the, the human condition, we all experience the same five core emotion, fear, sadness, sexual feelings, joy, and anger. We all experience those and all of those have a, 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 a range Right? So we could go, let's take anger for example. Anger, we could be seething and we could be bored. Boredom is a form of anger, right? So all of them have a spectrum to them. And so I'm here to remind you that you're not alone. There's a lot of other people in your friend group, in your family group, at your job, on the internet that are experiencing or have experienced something similar. And so the best thing you could do is to go get into community and just enjoy them. Allow them to support you. A lot of us try to hold too much. Nine out of 10, if you're the type of person watching this video, you're the rock for everybody in your family. Allow them to support you and this will change the game. Now tip number seven to remember when going through a tough time is it is not here to stay. Everything on our planet is always moving, always shifting, always changing. It's literally not here to stay. It is in the past. It's literally not here to stay. It's shifting and moving as we speak. And you can either ride the wave or you can be in resistance to the wave, but it's here. And so as it's passing through, you can go back up to step number four and enjoy it. Then go back up to number step number three and ask yourself, what is it here to teach me? And then go back up to step number two and decide that this is going to make you instead of break you. And then go back up to step number one and know that it's all perfect. It's all okay. Oh, oh. Ooh, bloop, Rastafari, let's get it. Guys, it's all good. And by good, I mean it's perfect. You are perfect, whole, and complete, but not finished. You are a work in progress. You are unfolding like the lotus flower. And in this now moment, you have 
carefully and purposely manifested this situation so that it may teach you something that you can use as medicine to support the planet. Oh, oh, blup. If this video has supported you or inspired you, I ask that you share it with a friend, tag somebody, click like, and especially please leave a comment and let me know which one of these has resonated the most. I am, we are. Hashtag love's voice is going down in a beautiful major way. Live love, give love, be love.